What's up dancers and movers, my name is Lukas and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video I presented you a routine of exercises to work on your flow. In today's video I want to take one of those exercises and build up three different levels out of it. They can help you a lot with getting more comfortable moving on the ground because they include positions on the squat, on the sitting level and on the back. And because it's three different levels, no matter if you're a beginner or professional, with this video everyone can take their ground game to the next level. Don't forget to warm up and if you're ready, let's get started. The first level we start in a sitting position. We lean to the back and place our hands behind our body. We bring one of our legs close to our body and hook the other one around it. From here we drag our knee out to the side, shift our leg through the other one. From here, this knee sinks to the floor and the other one comes up. And now we are already in the beginning position, but on the other side. From here, drag out your leg, shift it under the other one, let the knee sink to the floor and raise the other one. What you need to practice now is to combine the steps in a more flowy way. Let's try it for 45 seconds. Let's go. to do it pretty slow, take your time and find a steady flow through the whole pattern. What you can practice to make the leg switches more easy is to draw circles from your heels to your hands. I recommend to start with small circles and increase it step by step. we doing this exercise because this exercise is a key factor for the leg switches because if you're not including this sliding circle the leg switch is going to look like this but what we want to do is to combine the leg switches and the spinning circle so when we drag out the leg we slide to the back perform the circle and push to the front again. From here, same thing to the other side. We drag out the leg, slide to the back, do the circle, push to the front. So the side view of the leg switch is going to look like this. To the back, to the front. To the back, to the front. The second level we start pretty much in the same way, but we're going to include a hook spin into the previous movement. Let's give it a try. We drag out our knee, shift it under our body, let the knee sink and the other one raise up. Important now is that this hand is solid on the ground. We lift our hips. The free hand starts the movement now. Cross the hands here, change the hand and spin back to the front. From here, switch the hands again and go back to the sitting level. And from this position, we can do everything to the other side. Drag out the leg under the other one, knee sinks hips up and 
spin one full circle. And now, same as before, everything in a continuous flow for 45 seconds. Let's go. So for the third level, we start in the same way as before. Leg switches into the hook spin and take a seat. And from here, we're going into our new movement. First thing is land on the elbow to switch levels. You stretch out your leg and start to roll over your shoulder onto your back. Next up is we draw a half circle over our body, roll to the other shoulder and continue the movement until we land with our foot on the floor. Now perform a slide, push yourself up over your elbow until we land in the sitting position and have our legs like this. What we need to do now is Push up our hips, bring in our leg and find a solid stand here so we have the right control to continue. Switch your hands and let this knee sink onto the other one and take a seat. Bring your foot into the back of your other knee and fold the whole thing over to come back to the hook position. I know it's a lot and a bit complicated, but that's why it's a professional level. If you're struggling, don't worry, just rewatch the video and build it up step by step. So what we need to do if we land in the hook position like this, but want to do our new movement sequence to the other side is to perform the leg switches twice. So we go one, two, into the hook spin, take a seat and from here we can do the same thing to the other side. Elbow, leg movement, roll over the shoulder onto our back, start a half circle over our body, roll to the side until we land on the floor, perform the slide, push up over your elbow, raise up your hips, start the movement here, Find the stability point with your foot on the floor. Change hands. This knee sinks to the floor and we take a seat. The foot on the back goes to the back of the other knee. And from here, we fold over to the other side. And as before, two times, leg switches. And we can do the whole thing combined. What's really important after the leg swing is to find direct contact with your hands to the floor. This will give you stability and also makes the transition to your elbow much easier. There you go. 
Three different levels of flow exercises which you can do anywhere. In my perspective, flow is a very high sign of quality in movement. So you shouldn't rush with it, take your time and build it up step by step. You will have a lot of benefits from it. And if you do these exercises, no matter if it's level one, two or three, you should always think about the feeling of a chain reaction. One movement triggers the other one to create a continuous flow. Please let me know in the comments if you have any more questions about those exercises or write about your first experiences after you tried them. It would be really interesting for me to hear about it. If you like my content, it would be a big support if you could subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications and like this video. Thank you very much and enjoy moving. You're Lucas.